Hello, I'm Eloise and this is my channel. I chop my hair off and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I feel like 18 year old me and I'm literally loving it. I love it. So, so good. I feel like I can really swing my hair around now. We chopped about, I want to say about four inches off. Yeah, let's say we chopped about four inches off and I feel so liberated and free, you know. No more crappy limp hair. Anyway, we are not here to talk about my hair today. We are here to talk about the Rose and Caramel Tan and Tan Removing Bubble Bath. I'm so excited to tell you how amazing these products are. I'm not gonna give too much away, although I kind of already have. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing my review on the Rose and Caramel Tan and Tan Removing Bubble Bath, then make sure you keep on watching before you do. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz, and let's crack on. So, I have written some notes because I just wanted to make sure that I was completely thorough. I wore this tan last week, I filmed some footage and I wasn't feeling it. So I refilmed it today, so this is the second time I'm wearing it. I did remove the tan last week, but obviously I've got a fresh tan on today, so I'm still developing. I've got about an hour to go. Don't ask me why I've got my hair and makeup done and about to have a shower in an hour. <laughs> that rhymes. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I had some good footage for this video and to give you a proper rundown of these products because I'm so blown away. So first of all, I want to tell you how I do my tan routine. So you will see some little footage of me like do you know how hard it was to not get my naked body in the reflection of the bath? It was actually really difficult. <laughs> I really did have quite a fun time filming this video, it was quite funny. I always start off obviously by having a bath because shaving your legs in the shower is just so uncomfortable, don't you find? I run my bath and then I pour my Dead Sea Spa Magic bath salt in the bath because I feel like the salt in the bath really soften up my skin and whenever I tan my legs and I've got the salts in the bath my skin is so soft that it doesn't get irritated or like a shaving rash, which I usually get on my legs and it's super painful, especially when you want to put tan on it. It just goes so, so stingy. So whenever I put the bath salts in the bath, it softens up my skin and I can shave without any irritation. So step number one, run your bath and pour your bath salts in there to soften your skin up. And then obviously I'll soak in the bath for about 10 to 15 minutes watching YouTube videos, whatever I want to do. And then I will exfoliate my body. I love the Desi Spa Magic avocado, coconut, whatever it's called, um, scrub. Oh my God, it smells insane. Like coconutty, avocado-y, creamy goodness, it's amazing. Then I will use my bath scrubby with some shower gel on it and really like rub up and down my leg to make it really soapy. Um, and that is all I use really to shave my legs. A lot of people use shaving foam, but I don't. Um, it's just an added expense that I just don't want to get involved in, you know? So yeah, then I'll shave my legs and then I will get out the bath and I will dry for the majority of the day. And then say like three or four hours later, then I will start my tan. So the first thing that I will always do is prep my drier areas of my body with a moisturizer. I will use the Spa Find Remineralize Plus high strength body balm, it's got a zesty citrus aroma. Oh, this just smells like holiday and a spa mixed together, it's amazing. So I will put that on my feet, my hands, my wrists, um, my elbows and my knees. That way I know I'm not gonna get any patchiness with my tan and then I'll leave it there, leave it to soak in for about five to 10 minutes and then I will go in with the gorgeous tan. So I was super, super kindly gifted these two products here by Rose and Caramel, but I am no way obligated to speak so highly of them. It was my choice to put out this footage and it was my choice to think so highly of them. They gifted me the Intensity one, which is Bold and Bronzed Golden Toned Tanning Mousse. Lay up for intense results. So on the first time that I did my tan, I only did a second layer on my legs and my stomach for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but today I did two layers all over. It layered beautifully. Let me tell you. Um, it goes on super super smooth, streak free. It's got a lovely guide colour, so you can tell where you've missed or gone over too many times because you can get that patchiness. But once you buff it in really nicely and you don't get the patchiness anymore, you know it's good to go. Another point I wanna make is it dries so, so quickly. I've had this on all day, and you know when you wear a tan all day and you just feel sticky for the rest of the day? I don't feel sticky whatsoever. Like, 
I am not sticky. I'm dry as a bone and it literally dried within two or three minutes of me applying the tan. That's how quickly it dries, which is amazing. Another point I want to make is I usually do my tan in the evening because I hate having that sticky feeling on throughout the day. But like I said, I wore this throughout the day for two days. So the first time I did it and today, and I do not feel uncomfortable whatsoever. It's not sticky, it just feels fantastic. It doesn't have that horrible tan biscuity smell either. You, honestly, it has the most gorgeous smell. It's more like, it's not like coconutty, it's like holiday. I don't really know what smell it is, but it doesn't smell like biscuits whatsoever. So the first time I used it, I wore it for five days before using the bubble bath. And usually I get horrible like patches here. Like it starts to go really white in my elbow. I didn't have that. It faded, of course, but it faded beautifully, evenly. Like I didn't have any patches at all. The only patch I had was literally where my bra strap is on the side of my rib cage, and but that's normal. Um, and obviously I don't get that area of my body out, so I wasn't fussed by it at all. Um, and my hands were absolutely fine. Like I am so impressed at how even my hands are and how my hands were for the for those five days like they didn't go patchy whatsoever honestly this hand has blown my mind for that extra dark golden tan i'm used to using the dark isle of paradise and the ultra dark of what's it called bondi sands um and this when it's layered up gives a very very similar color it's really really nice and rich um, one layer is a little bit more natural, but it's still beautiful colour. Okay, now onto the bubble bath. So, with my bath, when I lie down, I, I mean, I'm a long girl, I'm five foot ten, so I don't exactly fit in the bath all at once. <laughs> so I had to keep like swapping and changing whether my chest was in or my knees were in. So it was like quite difficult to get my entire body in the bath at one time. I'm sure on the Instagram it says you only need to bathe for 20 minutes. I bathe for 25 just to make sure. Because I used this bubble bath on day five, my tan was so beautifully faded that I didn't get any of that crazy like lines of tan against bare skin like they do on the Instagram. I'm guessing they literally put their tan on like this, then the next day they'll completely scrub it off, but that's a waste of product to me. So I did it on day five. I didn't get any of that crazy liney, you know what I'm talking about on their Instagram. I'll put a picture of what I mean. Um, so I didn't get any of that, but as you can see, I'm scrubbing and there's tan on the mitt. So I definitely got all of the tan off my body so I was super super chuffed with that. Is that three days ago? That was three days ago so I've now put a fresh tan on. I pro I absolutely I would have been so happy to put it on as soon as I got out of that bath but I just couldn't be bothered so I've just waited another three days and I've got the tan back on again because I love it so much. So yeah that's really all I've got to say about the rose and caramel tan and tan removing bubble bath. I just think they're absolutely incredible products. Like when I first saw that on Instagram it was honestly so so crazy. I saw it on Instagram as an ad and I looked and I was like a bubble bath removes tan. By the way this bubble bath removes any brand of tan which I think is amazing as well. So yeah I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw it and I was like that can't be right and then literally a week later they messaged me saying oh we'd love for you to have a go of our products and see what you think and I was like whoa that's weird Um, I was literally gonna buy these products myself and then they gifted them to me really really kindly so thank you so much to Rose and Caramel for kindly sending me these products but honestly I would not feature these products on my channel if I didn't love them because I'm just not like that you know so yeah if you enjoyed this video then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up subscribe and all that jazz i'm eloise this is my channel and i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one